Good afternoon. Um, today we're going to talk about red flags and dodging bullets. <laughs> I'm just the way I want to put it out there. But basically the question I'm going to ask you and suggest to you as an opportunity is how we can see those red flags coming. And I mean this in the area of relationship, by the way. So before I get into all of that and explain with it, but let me introduce myself and give you some uh, framing about what I'm about and why I talk about this stuff. So my name is Barry Selby, in case you haven't seen me before. Welcome to my broadcast. Um, I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, um, author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles, singles and couples, men and women, a book I highly recommend because I wrote it and I'm very biased. And also a relationship and, relationship and love expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm a passionate champion, a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which informs my work with women and also what started these talks almost three years ago called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And today we're episode number 870, because I've done a bunch of these, almost three years worth, as I mentioned. And today we're going to talk about red flags, which I've talked about before, but I want to give you some different input. Frankly, as these talks are never scripted or cheat sheets available, I definitely have um, fresh content every time because it's always changing on me. So let's talk. So if you've been in a relationship where you regret being in it, looking back at the red flags you missed, this is going to be useful to you. If you're in a relationship now where you're looking at things going, damn, I wish that wasn't that way, as in a red flag that showed up, and I'll explain red flags more detail in a moment, and you wish you were out of it, this is going to be helpful to you for the next time. Um, so let me give you a framing what red flags I'm talking about here. Red flags, in simple terms, are absolute fundamental deal breakers for you. They could be as simple as you want someone who's going to be loyal to you. Well, they may be simple. <laughs> it could be as, as succinct as you want someone who's going to be loyal to you rather than somebody who cheats or wanders away. It could be somebody who you want to be monogamous rather than somebody who likes to play around because you want to be someone monogamous or vice versa. It could be so you want to be with somebody who doesn't drink because maybe you went clean and sober a few years ago and you don't want to break the habit. You want someone who was going to support you in that as well. These things are basically what are, what are called red flags, which is the ones that you don't want are red flags. The ones you do want, I call green flags, but I'll get to that another time. So red flags are things that oftentimes you discover after you experience the thing you don't want. So a lot of times, for, so for example, talking about the one about cheating, you may want to be with somebody who doesn't cheat because in your past relationship or one before that or one with your parents' relationship you saw it happen, there was cheating and you don't want that. So red flags are often hard won through pain, wounding, and bad relationships in the past. Sometimes, sometimes they clear up front, which is great if you can do it that way. But for a lot of us, our, our red flags are learned from painful experience. C'est la vie is the way it is. Now, I'm not saying that lightly, but I'm saying to say, let's get back to the point about what you do with it coming forward, because red flags are great when you know what you don't want. But the challenge is, if you're on the dating apps or meet somebody in social engagement, social environments, or some other place, you might start to fall in love with them without discovering if those red flags are there or not. And then when you're in that relationship and you're invested emotionally, physically, sexually, chemically in other ways, you discover some red flags that are showing up and you're like, oh shit. And the question becomes, do you put up with those red flags and stay because you're already invested? Or do you break your investment because the red flags are more important to you? And not so much the red flags are more important to you, the red flags are signposts for things you do not want to deal with, that you're clear about that and you're adamant. Now, for most people, the choice is ideally going to be the second one, that you'd rather sacrifice what you've put into this relationship to leave it whilst you're still able to, while you're still aware of the red flags. Again, these red flags are often born from painful experience. And for most people, they've put up with some of those things more than one time in relationship. And I'm including myself in that conversation because I've been through relationships in the past where I repeated the same thing more than once. And I was participant in that red flag creation. But I'm clear and have been single now for quite a long time because I will not do that again. For example, and I'm saying this on camera so it's going to be out in the world, is one of my, one of my red flags is, is that I... I I will not be in relationship with somebody who's not done any personal growth work. That's a done deal. That's a clear one. But what's additive to that more recently, I've said it a few times to people in the last few months, is what I do want, which is the green flag, 
is to be with somebody who's going to do this work with me to speak and coach and teach as I am doing that and do it together which means I can't be can't not can't I won't be with somebody who's not open to that simple as that so it's interesting because I've met some amazing beautiful women the last few months and I I learned quickly either because it's in their profile um, or it's something I have in conversation with them where I recognize that what their path is ahead for them what they're looking to do what they're planning to be doesn't fit mine and that's okay well it's frustrating to be honest because there's there's some women I'm very attracted to but I'm so clear that if I say yes to that I'm saying no to what I believe and this is one of those things about red flags oftentimes there is there's the distinct chasm or distinct rift that happens where you get to a choice point where you can see that a choice you make in a relationship could be away from what you really want and you're 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 settling basically even though the person might be the most amazing person you've ever met but because they're not matched the values you hold true to yourself you're actually settling for less than you really want and it's a hard choice i understand i've been in that place recently so i know the feeling of that right if only if only doesn't work you've got to be clear so hi patrick thank you for the love appreciate that oh by the way this is a facebook live so if you're watching somewhere else and you're wondering who i'm interacting with somebody watching my Facebook live <laughs> so that thank you Patrick I appreciate the feedback um, and and for me this this um, lesson has been hard won and I'm sure for you it's the same thing so red flags are clear when you know what they are and you're clear about them by the way <laughs> if you don't have any red flags you might want to think about making some because everybody I'm going to say almost everybody. I'm going to be somewhat, give some some somebody an out. Has things they do not want to put up with in relationship. There's absolute deal breakers, rules, things that will not work, and they're clear about that. And that's what it is. So, well, Patrick, if you need if you need help in this area, definitely we can talk. And hopefully, this talk will help you. By the way, of course, it's the intention to give you value from this talk, not just to like give you suspense and go. If you want more information, you must reach out to me. No, <laughs> I might put that at the back end, but I'll give you some help right now. So, as I said. For most people, 99%, 99.9% of people, if not more, having deal breakers, having red flags is vital for your discernment to choose a healthy relationship. Because there are people you do not want to be with. You clearly know that this person has that behavior or that um, aberration even. You don't want to be with them. Now, it can be clear. It, I mean, it, it could even be on religious grounds. That happens. I, I have a whole history with that one where that was something that I was against my parents about um, for, on my brother's sake. Anyway, it's another conversation. And that's, that's his stuff. I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, I'm not going to put it out publicly. But bottom line is for me is that I have a lot more freedom when it comes to relationship and culture and ethnicity than I used to be because of what's happened to me in my life. But I have other deal breaks Let's say Patrick, oh, you have Asperger's syndrome, so you've been, you're on the spectrum, so to speak. So your know, relationships were hard, and you missed out on all kinds. Well, there's things. Let me let me give you some some tips. Maybe this will help you as well. So the thing about red flags is that they can be something you can use for you, and you can always use it against yourself. So let me say this way too: it's important to have some red flags. It's also important to be clear what those red flags are. So having 300 red flags may be overdoing it. But it, there's going to be probably be half a dozen, maybe ten at most. I mean, some people say it should only be three, but I believe it can be more than that because there are certain things like you know I don't want to be with somebody who smokes. Period. That's one of my things. I used to smoke a long time ago, and they could have smoked in the past, but I don't want to be in a relationship now with somebody who smokes because that doesn't work for me. So those sort of things can be red flags. Um, it could be about diet. It could be about again like if they have addictions or things that you don't or you've broken free of, you don't want somebody who's going to have that problem that's going to come in your face same way so red flags are important how do you detect them going in and this is one of those challenging things is unless I mean I'll be an example I use later on um, and as simple as it sounds you can be upfront in your conversations when you meet somebody ideally you're going to talk to them whether you meet them in an app or in, in person you'll have a conversation you can carefully and gently Present them with some scenarios or what you're looking for. If, if there is a desire that you feel like you want to be attracted to each other, and it might be a relationship opportunity down the road, you could be saying to them, it's like, just to be clear, I'm looking for a partnership with somebody who has this, 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 and this, and they don't have this, 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 and this. 
And if they fit that, great. Now, the problem is people lie. <laughs> but if you start with that, it's a good place to begin because ideally you want to be with somebody who's honest. Unless you don't care about that, so be it. But if one of your red flags is the somebody, you don't want to be with somebody who lies a lot, then you can ask them these questions and hopefully they'll tell you the truth. It can even be as blunt as you put it out in your profile. If you're on, if you're on a social media platform or, on, or a dating, pla dating app or dating site, you can put it in your profile. These are things I don't want. I've seen many people, um, many women in dating apps. I, I'm on a few dating apps just to explore and check things out and also might meet somebody. But I've seen many women post, um, you should not go out with me if you voted for Trump, for example. So putting your red flags, if that's one of yours or something opposite to that, in your profile is totally valid. But the thing is, again, you've got to trust the person you meet is actually really true with that. And that's where you start to trust your gut. I did a whole talk yesterday about moving from your head to your heart and your gut, about dr being gut instinct driven. Because the problem is, is when we start thinking we know what we're doing, we're usually in trouble. It's a feeling level stuff. So when you find out about red flags, and again, referencing yesterday's broadcast, I recommend you watch that one. In that broadcast, I talked about that because in this context, when you ask people questions and you're talking to somebody, you can feel when the truth is there or not. It's actually something you can practice and really get. get um, you can't hear me anymore. That's strange. My microphone, my, my mic's in. I hope it's working okay. So I hope you can hear me. Okay, Patrick, thank you. I'll, I'll keep going. Hopefully, they'll, hopefully, it's still working. I think. Well, I trust it's working. I, I can't stop the talk in the middle of it. So, um, so trusting your intuition. Trusting your gut instinct when you're with somebody to find out from them what's true for them is important. Then you can be clear. The other part is, as I just mentioned earlier, is having absolute clarity about what your red flags are. For the ladies, I created a course called Attract the Man You Want that is a, 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 play, a eight module program that helps you get the relationship you want. The first step in that is to get clear about what you don't want. So it's almost like first step is red flag declaration and then what's the opposite of that? Because a lot of times, as another piece of the puzzle, is we're so clear about what we don't want, we focus on what we don't want, so we keep attracting what we don't want. Is that point clear enough? That you're basically in this place where you're absolutely um, focused on the thing you don't want so much, you keep attracting it. So it's better to be clear about what you don't want and then go, okay, what's the opposite of that? That I want to focus on. So shifting that's a good start too. So those two pieces, understanding what you don't want first to get as clear about what you do want is a good place to start. That's in the first module of my course. And I'll put the link in the comments for the ladies to get that later on. Um, but having understanding what you do really want is the place you start to focus on. Because it's about where you put your energies, where you focus your direction, that's where you go. So if you're focusing on the, what you, the red flags, that can be a starting point, but don't stay there. Start focusing on the green flags, as in, if I have a red flag about being, not being somebody who smokes, then you want to be somebody who doesn't smoke. Or somebody who is healthy and, and smoke-free or something. You play with the wording, but it's about directional focus towards the green flags and you basically leave the red flags behind. This is a simple, simplified explanation of how it can be. And yes, I do recommend bringing this up early in the dating process. If you meet somebody, you go out with them, you, like, you go out a couple of times, you like them a lot, and you know you want to proceed romantically, it's good to be clear before you get too invested. Otherwise, it can be really hard to walk away, as I mentioned at the beginning. So clarity is important. Knowing what you want is important. And this... Um, This piece, there was another piece, oh yeah. Um, so, I'm gonna give an example of where things went sideways, just to, just to make things even more, no, you know what? No, I'm not. There's a story of a couple of friends of mine, and I'm not gonna get into that, in this court talks, it belongs somewhere else. But I will say this, be really clear about what your red flags are. Don't make too many, be clear about what's absolutely, fundamentally not gonna work for you, so you know what they are. But if you m make up some red flags just to be like, um, judgmental about other people not a good idea focus on what you do want where you want to go and what you want to have so green flags again are the step to take and basically when you do identify red flags early on you get to dodge that bullet i was talking about and you get to be free to choose what you really want so i'll put some links in the comments i mentioned i just mentioned the track the man you want i'll also put my book in there as i mentioned that as well books for men and women by the way um i'll also put a link to have a conversation with me so here's what i'm going to do because i saw a man in, a gentleman in here asking about this help I'll put a link in there for a chat with me which is for the ladies. I'll put a link in there with a contact form for the men. So if you want to get help in this area and you're stuck, you can reach out to me through that. And so there'll be four links in the comments. So a contact form, uh, a chat link for a, a complimentary chat with me, 
and also uh, my book and my Track the Mind and Want program because this is a pivot point for some people about relationship. And again, I recommend you watch yesterday's broadcast because I did talk about how to tune in for a better um, alignment to what you really want. So I hope this is making some sense to you and this has landed for you because this is something I want to make sure you get clearly because you can change your course in relationship. You don't have to keep recycling the same old patterns. You can be free to love the way you want, the right way, once and for all. So I hope this makes sense. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned a bit earlier. I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, you can join me live at 5 p.m. here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. You can watch the replays on my business page, which is um, Barry Selby, the author. Although, and you can like my page, please. Um, unfortunately, you, Facebook has been... Facebook doesn't seem to save all of them in one place, so it's hard for you to watch all of them. But if you want to watch all my broadcasts, all 869 before this one... Um, on my YouTube channel, I backed them up there so you can watch them from the newest to the oldest. All of them are there. You can search through titles, everything like that. Um, you can subscribe to my channel, which is Barry Selby on YouTube. And on there's a playlist called Messages for the Masculine. Um, I think that's it. I hope it's making some sense. I do invite your questions, comments, and thoughts. Patrick, I'll, I'll reach out to you. Um, if you want help, get help. Don't try doing it alone. Get support and you can have what you want. With that, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being with me, and I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And as always, take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.